Hi everybody, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hi guys. Good evening, can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Okay, let me give it a try, porque no escucho, solo veo que, I mean, you're moving, but I cannot hear you. Uh, can you hear me, guys? Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm having yes. some uh, yes, difficulties teacher. with my earphone, so me voy a conectar uh, desde el teléfono just for the audio. Um, so... So thank you guys. Thank you so much for, for joining today. Thank you for being here. Um, super on time, you know. We are going to get started with class number five. Uh, so please help me out with your cameras and let me get started with the attendance for the day. So. Give me just a quick second here. Okay, so uh, the first person that I got on my list is Astrid. Astrid, are you with us today? <coughs> Hello. Hi, Astrid. Maybe not. Uh, Carlos Felipe? Present. Thank you. Carolina Lisset. Present. Thank you. Daniela Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Eh, Dinora Estela. Eh, Diomes Estito. Present. Thank you. And uh, Edwin de Jesus. Present. Thank you. Emily. Emily. Present. Thank you. Uh, Emma Tatiana. Present. Thank you. Guadalupe. Italo. Present. Thank you. Nice to see you. Jennifer Sarai. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jerry. Porque es la única que le queda. Present. Jerry. Uh, José Eliseo. Jose Ramón. Present. Awesome, thank you. Karen Lorena. Okay. Eh, Carla María. Present. Thank you. Crisia Abigail. Present. Thank you. Lorena Stephanie. Nidia de la Flor. Miriam Esmeralda. Present. Thank you. Eh, Ofelia. Okay, Lee. Hello, I'm here. Thank you. Rafael. Roxana. Silvia Rocío. Present. Thank you. Susi. Present. Thank you. Eh, Tania Karina. Present. Thank you. And uh, Walter Giovanni. Present. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome. So thank you so much for joining, guys. Give me just a quick sec. Mm, I'm going to try to, to connect my audio. Dame solo un segundito. Uh, 
Okay, so yes. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm going to start sharing my screen to show you part of the things that we are going to be doing today. Uh, first, mm, as we normally do, we go over attendance, then we are going to like check simple present tense. Continuamos con el verb We are going to practice today like questions, uh, just no questions, WH questions. And uh, also we are going to check negative statements. That is very important. So the objective of today is um, we are going to learn how to use and how to answer just no questions and these WH words that are very important. Uh, the first activity that I have for you guys is to take a look at the following video that is sensation 3.1 that is are you from Seoul this is like a little conversation um, I'm going to share these with you and I want you to take a picture so we can go ahead and we can practice a pronunciation so let me play the conversation first and then we will go ahead and uh, make some groups to make it more natural and more genuine, right? So let me play this. Give me one second. Right now, just please listen to the to the pronunciation of the words. And if you have like one specific word que sea difícil, let me know. So let me play it. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. Okay, everybody, so. Hello. Yeah, give me one second. Okay, so what I want you to do is the following. Can you hear me? Can you hear me better? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, nice. So what I want you to do, guys, is this. Let's take a look at the conversation one more time, okay? And you can, we are not going to listen, so just please take a picture, okay? Take a screenshot of this little conversation. If you take a look, this conversation is about other countries. It says, are you from California? Pero vamos a adaptarlo. We are going to make it more genuine, more Salvadorian thing, more Salvadorian stuff. So it's says, are you from California? You can use something like, are you from Soyapango? Are you from Ilopango, right? Um, well, my family is from Usulutan, from Sulutan. You know? So my family is from Usulutan, but we are originally from, um, I don't know, tell me a place, from Apopa, for example. So, um, so let's try to put it into your own words Try to make it personal, okay? And let's practice questions. So, no vamos a repetir esta conversación. We are not going to repeat it, but vamos a hacerlo más original. We're going to make it very original. In your own words, vamos a poner esta conversación. Uh, do you follow me? Preguntas, questions? No. So, three and Jessica, you're going to ask like, hey, are you from San Salvador, Jessica? Hey, are you from Santa Tecla, Jessica? 
And then, well, my family is from Santa Tecla, all right? But they are in, um, I don't know, in Lourdes now. So let's make it real, okay? I will give you some minutes so you can practice with everybody. Practicamos tantas veces como podamos, as many times as you can. Listen to your classmates. Listening is very important. Así que también pongamos la atención que listening eh, es un elemento bien importante, especially in this type of classes. Eh, get your cameras on because si no logramos entender un detallito with the camera, eh, podemos como comprender, ah, creo que dijo esto, ¿no? <laughs> so that helps a lot, like physical, body language, it helps. So everybody, let's go to the rooms and let's practice. Hi, Ophelia, good evening.
Jerry, dale tú. Um, are you from... No, I'm, oh, my mother. Ajá. Va, pero allá quién, a qué? Oh, a cualquiera. Is, uh, oh, my mother is Guatemala from... Are you from Guatemala? No, we are not... Uh -huh. uh, Okay, okay. Christian. Christian. No, Christian. we are not from Guatemala. We are from Salvadorian. Okay. okay. Yeah. Eh, sigo yo, no sé cómo sea. Sí. Son tres participantes o, o cada uno leemos una línea independientemente. Sí, cada, cada uno leemos una línea para poder participar todos al mismo tiempo. Ah, bueno, so is your first language is Spanish? Yes, it is. También podemos como leerlo cada uno como para sí. desarrollar sí. el... Comienzas, comienzas tú entonces, Roxana. Eh, Tim says, are you from Soyapango? Eh, for example, José Ramón. Well, eh, well, my family is in, in Soyapango now, but we're from eh, San Miguel originally. Uh, my mother is in Salvadorian from Chalatenango. Are you from Chalatenango? No, we're not from Chalatenango. We're from uh, Jutiapa. So, is your first language is... Um, we're from San Salvador. So, is your first language Salvadorian? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. okay. Corrijamos uh, entonces, eh, ¿cómo sería? ¿Cómo sería? Vaya, eh, sería, eh, cuando dice California, ¿cómo sería? San Sa ¿El Salvador? Ahí me imagino que van a poner este como... From Nueva Concepción. Are you from Nueva Concepción? No, we are not from Nueva Concepción. We are from Santa Ana. So, is your first, first language eh, Spanish? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, Susie is Tim y... Tania es Jessica. Prax. Eh, are you from mm, La Libertad, Jessica? Well, my family is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hoy ni nos despedimos. Super rápido. Super rápido. Hi guys. Sorry. Okay, so let me see if it works. Yeah, yes, it works. So no se oye doble, right? No. Okay. No. no. Okay, good, good. Uh, I like it. So guys, um, I know that it's going to be really weird, pero no me está saltando el speaker, my computer. I think like we are going to do it this way. Uh, yeah, uh, es un poquito más rápido porque modifiqué los tiempos. Uh, I thought that it was like too much time, así que ahora 10 segundos and, and you are brought back here. 
but I was listening to most of your of your rooms and uh, you were speaking a lot. I'm very happy that you got that part covered and uh, I didn't listen to like uh, difficulties entendiendo de que se trataba, so I'm really glad that it was like that. Uh, so to get started, I don't know, I would like to have some volunteers and uh, especially uh, I'm going to like especially take um, well, first, volunteers. I am <laughs> a volunteer. Okay, thank you, Kelly. So, I will ask you to select a person, so select a classmate who has, well, you were working with in the in the room. ¿Con quién estuvo trabajando, please? Um, estuve con, I don't know her name, but sorry. Uh, Emily. Yeah. Eh, Dinora. Y Walter. Yeah, that's what I think. So, selección a uno. I see Walter, Miriam, Emily, and Dinora. Yeah. So, you can select one okay. person. Go a uno. Mm -hmm. Emily. Okay. Okay, um, I'm going to. Are you from San Salvador, Emily? Yes, well, my family is in San Salvador now. Well, we're from San Miguel originally. Oh, my mother is San Miguel from um, La Paz. Are you from La, the, La Paz? No, we're not from La Paz. We're from El Congo. So, is your first language Spanish? Yes, it is. Okay. Nice, guys. That was very good. That was good indeed. Very fluent, very good pronunciation. I like the, the way you interacted. So, excellent. Kudos for you. Very nice. Uh, Emily, I'm going to let you select next person. Especially, uh, well, you can select. Yo miría por quienes apagaron la cámara. <laughs> now you can select anybody. So select next person, please. De mi grupo. De cualquier grupo. Uh -huh, it doesn't matter. Oh, Any person okay. you can see here on the screen. Mm -hmm. um, Carolina Lister. Okay, so Carolina. Where are you, Caroline? Aquí estoy. <laughs> Siempre me cogen a mí. Ah, Yo soy la primera que estoy en la, en la cámara, quizá. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <That's> okay. <laughs> no, but that is good because you practice more. So that, that's very nice. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. let's go with you, please. Um, ¿Con quién voy a practicar? ¿Con Emily? Uh, yes. No, okay. Well, no, actually, no, usted escoja. You choose. Uh -huh, you choose. ¿Con quién estuvo practicando? So, from your group, selección una persona. Select one person. Um, Italo. Okay. Italo, where are you? Ah, ya lo vi. Okay. No, ya ves okay. que está escondido para no practicar. No, no. Le, le, le iba a decir que escogiera uno de los que tienen cámara apagada, pero ya veo. Que... Yeah, I, I will go with that. I will select this thing. Okay, okay guys. Está eh, bien. Bueno, comienzo entonces. Uh -huh. eh, are you from Carolina? Perdón. Eh, are you from eh, San Salvador, Carolina? Uh, well, my family is in um, Morazán now, but we're from um, San Miguel original. Oh, my mother is eh, San Miguel. Uh, from uh, San Miguel. Uh, are you from San Miguel? Mm, no. We are from Morazan. We are, uh, we are from Morazan. No, we are from San Morazan. Uh -huh. uh, we are from. Um, no sé, el otro. Oh. Uh, 
eh, San Miguel, dije yo, pero ajá, ajá, pues, San Miguel. Pude, pude utilizar otro. Ajá, San Miguel, ajá. San Miguel, la, la, la cabecera. Ajá. 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 Bueno. Eh, eh, so is your first language eh, Spanish? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay, guys, nice. Un, I un like it. Un poco este, dificultoso porque hay que cambiar los lugares y, y eso, más que todo. Oh, yes, I, sí, of course, sí. I Ajá. understand. But Ajá. you did a very good job. So you did it nicely. And uh, I, I like it because it was, it sounded very natural. So that was good, no worries. Okay, thank you, thank you guys. Carolina, eh, I will give the power, I will give you the power to select next person. So select, please, who is next? Um, eh, Ofelia, yo creo que tú tenías dificultades, right? Creo que veo a Ofelia. Eh, so, solamente me ayuda, please, cambiando su nombre para que en el registro me le aparezca que sí estuvo presente. Si me hacen el favor, please. Please, please, please. Okay. okay, so, uh, Carolina, who's next? Um, uh, Walter. Walter, Walter. Walter Giovanni, ahí está enfrente. A él lo escojo porque right. está enfrente. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so nos aparecen como en lugares diferentes sometimes, but yeah, there you go. So Walter, who is your uh, person? Who is going to be your partner? Um, Walter. Jose Ramón. Es excellent. Okay, good. And he is always like ready and, and happy to, to okay. go for it. So yeah, let's go, boys. Uh, are you from uh, Guatemala, Walter? Well, my family is in El Salvador. El Salvador, no. But we're from. Nicaragua, originally. Oh, my mother is Nicaraguense from, from Managua. Uh, are you from Nicaragua? No, we are not from Nicaragua. We're from uh, Managua. Oh, so is your first language is uh, so is your first, first language is uh, Spanish? Yes, it is. Tana. Finish. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> Thank you. That was good. That was good. Sorry, I was looking for for the button to unmute. But yes, boy, it's very good. Very good job on that. That sounds very nice, nice, nice. Okay, good. Select. Now let's continue and let's go with the following thing. Normally, um, we got questions covered, we got positive answers covered, pero nos falta un punto bien importante, that is negative statement. We have not checked how to make negative statements. And, and I like it porque ustedes ya lo incorporaron, so you put it already when you say, no, I'm not, you know? So very natural. But now let's take a look at how to make negative statements. That is the following uh, topic that we got covered here in the platform. So give me just a sec. Yeah, this is what we got. So uh, with questions, I think that it's just a matter of practice. Uh, que ustedes van a empezar a crear sus propias preguntas. But so far, I think you're doing a, an awesome job. So it's super, super good. Now let's go with patient 3.3 to check on some negative statements and just no questions with verb to be. So, um, we got two answers, possible answers. Si la pregunta es, are you? Hey, are you a doctor? Are you his brother? Are you 20 years old? Are you bored? Are you angry? Okay, I got two possibilities all the time. Yes, I am. No, I am not. So we are going to check on these negative statements y cómo formarlos today. Um, so we get like, the whole picture, okay? So let me play this video. And of course, pueden tomar notas, tienen acceso siempre a la plataforma, así que no worries with it. Let me play this, eh, me voy a poner en mute, un minuto.
movements would be In this class, you'll learn how to form negative statements and yes and no questions would be. Let's start by looking at the examples on the screen. All the statements that you see are negative statements. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. In order to form negative statements would be you need to follow this next formula. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. So let's try to make sense of this. I am not from New York. The example above, when express spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say I'm not from New York rather than I am not from New York. We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You are not late. Now let me talk about making questions would be. This is the structure to follow verb to be plus subject plus complement. We're going to take the examples from this chart. So are you from California? And then put a question mark at the end. Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? If you notice the examples above, you can see that we have the verb to be, then the subject, and finally some kind of complement. In order to answer this type of questions, you will typically give a short answer, such as the examples that you see on the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now it's your turn to practice. Give as many examples as possible, forming questions and answers and then share them in our discussion forums. Okay, everybody, so. So, um, in the video, you were listening to this uh, part of making some negative statements, right? Not necessarily negative ideas, but negative statements. But there is something that I want to mention because in the video, lo muestro un poquito diferente. And it is the part of the conjunction. I mean, in the contraction. Conjunction, sorry. The contraction. For example, normally, I say I am in the negative form. Solamente le pongo not. So this is one way, I am not. But if I want to make, uh, if I want to make these a little bit shorter, I can do the following. I apostrophe am not. So I am not or I'm not. Y eso sería la forma corta, right? If I say, for example, you are not, this is one way. 
But there is another way, and it's you are. And in the video, menciona esto this way. But I have to say, this is not very common. This is not like the most common way that you are going to use the contraction. Um, the common way is going to be the same. You aren't. So I am not, I'm not. You're not, you aren't. We are going to use aren't for the negative way. So what about third person singular? I have she is not. For example, now I got she. But again, the video nos muestra esto. But I have to say, not really. It's not the most common. The most common way is this one. And you will see this as she is not, she isn't. Y le quitamos el not porque ya lo agregué, right? So, I am not, I'm not. You're not, you aren't. She is not, she isn't. So, sucede lo mismo con el resto de otros nombres that are missing from here, that are he, and it. Yeah, so we got three. You. Me faltan un par de pronombres which are we and they. So whenever we are using this, this is the most common way to make negative statements and negative contractions. Uh, do you have any question on this? Walter, any question? No. Okay, um, is this clear? Okay, I'm going to take that as a yes. <laughs> okay, now let's do the following. I want you to help me with some negative statements, ya sea la forma completa o la forma de contracción. Both are okay, ambas significan lo mismo, ambas están bien, right? En el ejercicio probablemente les pida contracciones. So this is the contraction, apostrophe. And I have to be honest with you. Algunas veces, dependiendo de en qué idioma lo tengan, les va a aparecer como este, esta comita, o si lo tienen en español, les puede también aparecer como eh, the apostrophe changes, right? So algunas veces les va a aparecer como este cosita, este, esta línea, right? And sometimes, Les va a aparecer. Déjenme cambiar el idioma. Y algunas veces les va a aparecer esto. Entonces, you have to be just careful, right? Porque son un poquito diferentes. En inglés utilizamos uno que es como comida, right? Even el que yo estoy utilizando en la plataforma no se los afectaría, porque my keyboard is in Spanish. So I would recommend you to just make sure that your keyboard is in English, right? O si hay algún ejercicio de la plataforma, solamente lo que podemos hacer. Si este es el ejercicio, usted viene y usted copia, you know? Copia y pega la comida para que la plataforma se la tome bien. Eso es como una forma de, de resolver más rápido que la situación with the platform. Porque a veces es como bien picky y les pide eh, un tipo de, de apostrofe. Para que solamente tengamos ahí el dato, right? So, everybody, please help me with some statements. Podemos hacer una descripción, right? Um, you can write uh, right now, like some examples using different pronouns. So, we can practice, right? So, I can tell you, for example, I am not tall. <laughs> I'm not tall, okay? She, puedo usar she, pero para hacerlo más personal, I can say, for example, my friend is not from San Salvador, right? So, well, I can start practicing. I can say something like, my brother, my brother is not, or the contraction, which is good, my brother is not a uh, talkative, talkative person. Okay. And so I'm giving just like some examples and I'm using negative statements here. So I'm going to give you like five minutes so you can write your own example 
intentemos utilizarlos todos, try to use all of them, y luego los vamos a compartir, right? So, I'll give you like three, four minutes. Uh, Jennifer, I'm reading. So Jennifer, I'm reading your example. And uh, I think it's very good. Solamente quizás un poquito con spelling, but the rest is good. My brother is not, si usamos el país, usamos from, please. Sorry. Um, my sister is not. Eh, ahorita no vamos a utilizar otros verbos, guys. Así que, please, todavía no, todavía no. Let's hold on a little bit. I'm not hungry. My mother is not cold. That's good. Um, my mother is not sure. He is not from Salvador. Yeah, they are good. Um, I'm not a. Carlos solamente, digamos un poquito la de ability, porque sería como yo no, remember that estamos como yo soy o yo no estoy, you know, so, eso es como es mi yo no soy, yo no tengo, yo no soy hambre, no, ya yeah, okay. sería como no tengo hambre, I know, <laughs> pero eh, el hungry está súper bien. Then eh, no usamos como otro verbo at the moment, okay, my dog is not a toy, that's good. My brother is not from the United States. The rest is good. My cousin is not popular with the guys. My wife is not good. Yeah, they are very good. They are good. good, good. They are not fingers. My sister is not cool. My mother is not cool. Um, my cat is not kind. Okay. My mother is not funny. Right. My work is not boring. My father is Okay, Ophelia solamente le agregamos el is, is que me le falta por ahí. Creo que quiere decir algo. Paul, mate, my birthday is not. Eh, okay, entonces solamente in, in February. I'm not insensitive. Okay, <laughs> that's good. I'm not in Greece. My grandmother is not from China. Yeah, I'm not. Eh, de una por ahí que se me escapó la PlayStation, eh, no podemos al momento utilizarla, maybe. Entonces estamos con yo soy o yo no soy, o yo estoy o yo no estoy. So, si vamos a utilizar jugar, reír, sonreír, eh, no podemos utilizar las audiencias. So, guys, no usamos otros verbos al momento. 
Uh, my mother is not from Guatemala. My mom is from Seoul. Okay. My brother, I'm not sure. That is not in Google is not a soccer player. My mom is from Honduras. Okay. She is okay. Mm, all right. So Walter, this is good. Like she is not ugly. So lo hagamos el cambio de R for E. She is not. Lo hemos nice. We are not afraid of success. Okay. Good. <laughs> I like it. Your cat is being ugly. They are not sleepy. My brother is a virtual person. Okay. Rosana solo al revés. So that's very nice. My brother is a beautiful person. So it's good. He is not my friend. My brother is from South Italy. My grandmother is not from Mexico. Okay. Okay. Good. I like it. You got a very good example, guys. Yeah, they are very, very good. I like it. Grammatically talking is very good. We, okay. Um, solamente a couple of things, sir. Eh, please, no usemos otros verbos porque nos podemos confundir. Vi por ahí un sleep, vi por ahí un eat. Entonces, please, eh, no usemos verbos. So, eh, yo sé que Google Translator viene también como una herramienta bastante útil, pero please, eh, solo busquemos palabras, no busquemos oraciones completas, porque podemos eh, caer en, en depender mucho de Google Translator. Okay? My friend, not in the first. Ok, they are very good. So, pensamos como ella es, o ella es. So, esa es la idea. That's very much the general idea, and very good job, because I, I really like what I saw. So, what are we going to do right now? I want you to choose, okay, vamos a practicar un poquito con tercera persona. I want you to choose a family member, okay, puede ser él, puede ser ella, uh, o pueden ser ustedes, right? And y vamos a, a decir como una descripción pequeñita de cómo soy, it could be uh, what I am, all right, or my friend. So, let me down a little bit. So, for example, I uh, can go like this. Let me talk. Let me talk about myself. So, puedo hablar de mí misma, right? I can say, let me talk about myself. So, voy a hablar de mí, and I start like, oh, I am this, I am that, I am not this, I am that. Or, look, I'm there. And I can tell you something like, let me talk. Let me talk about my sister. Let me talk about my sister. Okay. Y voy a decir características de ella. Oh, she is, her name, her name is, she is from my father. She is tall. She is beautiful. She is very intelligent. She is in San Salvador right now, right? So vamos a utilizar, you know, you can talk about your brother, your sister, your baby, your husband, your wife. Okay. Let me talk about your, my cat. Pueden hablar del gato, of your dog. Y vamos a utilizar it is, right? So it is big, it is small, it is crazy. So escojamos un tema to talk about right now, utilizando verbs to be. So les voy a dar cinco minutitos. I'm going to give you less. Les voy a dar cuatro minutos, tres, cuatro minutos, para que escriban una breve descripción, and then la presentamos, right? So guys, three, four minutes. Let's go.
One more minute. Okay, everybody, so we are going to get started with this, but um, I would like to have some volunteers, so I will definitely like to have some, okay, so in the chat, I see some examples, and that is super awesome, uh, but I would like to listen to you guys. I would like to have some volunteers, so do I have any? Would anybody like to talk about, I don't know, I see like cats, children, Me? So. <laughs> okay, Rosanna, awesome. Let's go. Um, I am a person a little bit quiet, but sometimes I'm more funny. My sister is different to me because she is very quiet and she's careful. My parents are from Charlottenango originally, but right now live in La Paz in Zacatecas. My friends are funny and were, are not intelligent. My brother uh, it's from my brother is from El Salvador, but he lives in Costa Rica. I like it. So. That was a very nice description. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, that was very good, Rosana. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Emma, I see your hand up, so let's go with you. Okay. Hello, my name is Emma. I am from Zonate. I like dance and help people, but I am the rest of either extroverted and low play and long. For the moment, I dedicate myself as medical student and university. Correct and 
Okay, thank you. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, Emma, select next person, please. We have like two, three more minutes to go. So. Who okay. is next? Alguien aquí no haya escuchado. <laughs> okay. Hello. Oh, there was a colleague. All right. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. I go. I go. Um, I am a very funny person. I love to play piano and sing in the church. I, I, I like to play soccer every week and every day. It is possible. Um, I have 28 years old. And I, I am a very happy person. Okay, thank you, Kelly. That was good. Okay. Sorry, I continue uh, using the wrong one. Okay, uh, okay, select the last person, please. I would like to listen to somebody else. Okay. Um, Italo, Vladimir. Okay. One more time. Uh, uh, let me tell about sister. Uh, she's very happy. Uh, it's now an angry person. Uh, uh, she's uh, uh, holiday. No, no, sorry, eh, no pude, tra no pude eh, traducir que a ella le gusta salir de vacaciones, pero es que no encontré esa... Eh, puede eh, hacerlo más simple, eh, sí, eh, puede decir, she likes vacation, o le gusta viajar, she likes traveling. Ok, ok. Eh, Y um, um, uh, she's uh, low person. Okay, I like it very nice. That sounds very natural and, and very cool, Italo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody. So thank you so much for, for being here. Thank you for sharing this. Now, guys, antes de irnos, solamente let me go over the attendance, please. So help me with your cameras and let me just take a look at you. And uh, no, no estábamos acá para tener, you know, attendance control. Let me go over here. So Astrid Lisset, ¿está por aquí? Astrid? It's not. Did Nora Estela? Present. Thank you. Um, Emma. Emma Tatiana. Present. Thank you. And um, Guadalupe Herrera. No. I got Jose Liceo. Present. Thank you. Uh, Karen Lorena. Lorena Stephanie. Nidia de la Flor. Okay, uh, okay, no, okay. Uh, Rafael. Ofelia. Thank you. And Roxana. Question. Yeah. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for your attendance today. Creo que. Creo que estaba teniendo ahí. Gracias. Thank you, guys. Okay. So 
um, what are we doing this day? Para esta semana, well, actually, para mañana, para mañana viernes, vamos a intentar the homework for tomorrow. It's just going to be trabajar en las dos sesiones that we're attending. So, ahora llegamos a sala 3.3. Significa que para mañana completamos la parte de knowledge check, que es la 3.4, right? Eh, so, revisamos la 3.1, okay, revisamos 3.1 que son preguntas y tienen um, 3.2. Pretty much no hay tarea aquí, solamente les queda la 3.4. So una tarea para el día de mañana, right? Lo tienes aquí. Si podemos avanzar, no hay ningún problema. Feel free to do it. Eh, y de ser posible, pues si la logran terminar, muchísimo mejor. That is even better. So ya no se quedan esta noche. And um, creo que habían dificultades con algún ejercicio de, de listening. Eh, pay a lot of attention en el que les indican los números. Hay un ejercicio de listening en la parte 1, en la sesión 1, que es de números. Y hay uno que ya no lo dice, pero dice una palabra como de same. Entonces pongamos la atención como a los detalles de ese tipo para que encontremos la respuesta, right? Eso es con el ejercicio 1. Con el ejercicio 2, 2.6. Eh, por ahí hay como una palabrita que no le está aceptando la S, you know, eh, donde dice cell phone. Entonces solamente probemos, you know, es como una prueba, you know, prueba-error. Así que revisemos. Eh, no sé si tienen algún ejercicio en específico que les esté dando dificultades para que lo veamos, like, rapidito. O están súper bien hasta ahorita. Yo con solo lo que a veces no sale marcados, por ejemplo, los dos... El como, ¿verdad? Ajá, los dos chequecitos. Y uno este que no me marcó en, el, en la sección 2, nada más. Perdón. Les soy honesto, no sé cómo marcarlo. Yo, yo entro, yo lo reviso y automáticamente me lo marca, you know? Pero sí hay una forma de hacerlo manual. Yo que antes no le doy al entrar al ejercicio en la parte superior dice marcar esta página. So you can try to do it that way. Or eh, a veces en el menú puede funcionar no utilizar los controladores de río, sino utilizar los controladores que están al final de su actividad. Dice esto, anterior y siguiente. So uh, you can also give it a try that way para ver si se los marca, o utilicen esta que dice marcar esta página. Sí, sí. Pero esto es como algo bien personal, you know, para que ustedes sepan a dónde están, para que ustedes sepan si lo terminaron o no. Pero eh, lo que sí les cuenta dentro de la plataforma son los que se llaman Knowledge Check y que les está tomando la nota de este Knowledge Check. Eh, por ejemplo, este tiene 34 puntos. Si usted ve que completó el ejercicio, y al final no le está marcando esos 34 puntos, entonces eso se afecta a la nota. Pero eh, estos controladores, estos chequecitos, es como algo más personal para saber en qué ejercicios se quedaron y cuáles faltó. Uh -huh. Pero no, no se puede hacer eso. Ok. No, no Por ejemplo, acá no eh, me aparece. Con la sección 2.10 también tuve problemas. Por las palabras, habían dos, dos preguntas que no, no, no aceptan ningún tipo de palabra. Bueno, no sé si desde de la que estaba hablando usted. Era la 2.6. Sí, amigo. 2.10. 2.10. Sí, creo que, que compañera, de... yo creo que en la 2.10 tiene que fijarse en la escritura, porque a mí también me estaba dando dolor de cabeza eso. Y en, en una pude escribirla bien, la otra no, porque no sé, hay una palabra que... No sé, la, la puse de una y mil formas, pero no, no me salía. No sé si es esa la que se estaba diciendo. En la primera sí hay que fijarse bien en lo que es la pronunciación de la última palabra para que pueda agarrarla. Ah, pues sí, ajá, en esa. Porque a mí la, la penúltima me dio problema bastante. Con eso. En esta parte yo vi que algunos estaban tenían dificultades, pero si les falta una palabra, recordemos que, por ejemplo, está una que se llama in front of, right? No solamente es front, tampoco es solo front of, es completa in front of. Si le falta un pedacito de eso, ya no se lo va a tomar como correcta. So, solamente como revisamos que estamos usando la palabra exacta. Uh -huh. Pero por ejemplo, una en esa que... parte de, de la número dos dice, creo que dice como the DVD player is next. Ok. 
So, no the DVD razón. player, ok. Pero next recordemos to. que no solo es next, es next to, exacto. Entonces es como next, espacio, y luego to, next to. So, es combinado, right? Entonces, como detallitos de ese tipo, puede que no le, no le permita eh, que le acepte una respuesta. Solamente okay. revisamos que la palabra ajá, es como completa en your story. Luego tiene la parte de listening. ¿Hasta acá está todo bien? ¿Tuvieron dificultades con esto? No. no. Sí, en esta parte solo revisamos que cabal, si es next, sea next to, sea, si sea como frente de, in front of, tiene que ser completo, right? Gotta be the word. Okay. Okay, guys. So, si tienen como algún ejercicio específico que ya agotaron todos los recursos, Google, you know, YouTube, Dictionary, and everything, se me pueden escribir directamente para que podamos ver, porque a veces es como un detallito el que le hace falta, and then you're good. Tu respuesta está bien, solo una letra a veces. Un punto se me fue, you know, and that works. That definitely works. So, guys, thank you so much for your attendance. I'm sorry for the time that I took from you. Siempre les robo minutos. <laughs> But thank you so much for being with me. And that, nos vemos el día de mañana. See you tomorrow Friday. Just like Friday. Friday. Un poquito. But uh, I hope to see all of you tomorrow. Okay, so have a good night and bye bye guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.